Since the crisis, the weak recovery in the advanced economies constrained South Africa's export growth, which impacted adversely on the trade account of the balance of payments, particularly at a time when the exchange rate was relatively strong in response to strong capital inflows to emerging market economies. The current account of the balance of payments widened significantly in 2012, when it measured 6.3%. A disturbing aspect of recent trends has been the weak recovery of South Africa's exports, despite a marked improvement in our terms of trade since 2010. Part of this has been due to the slow global recovery, but this is not the whole story, as South Africa's export performance has lagged that of its emerging economy peers, who have faced the same global environment. Slow export growth was also an outcome of the widespread stoppages in the mining sector last year, which adversely affected the export performance of our main source of exports. But non-mining exports have also underperformed, and we need to learn more of the, from the experience of countries such as Germany as to how to improve competitiveness under adverse circumstances. The main export sectors of the South African economy therefore face a challenging outlook from both external and internal sources. Commodity prices have not generally, generally recovered to pre-crisis levels, and their volatility is illustrated by their sharp decline in recent days, in particular that of gold. At the same time, input costs, particularly electricity and wage costs, have risen significantly, and the sector is beset by an increasingly difficult, by incre an increasingly difficult labor relations environment. The manufacturing sector remains vulnerable to the continued weak demand from Europe, while its import and export competitiveness was also adversely affected by the depreciation of the currency in 2010-2011. Following the recent depreciation of the RAND, the outlook for the sector is more positive, but nevertheless fragile. The exchange rate is an important part of the story. As we have seen, the RAND has been on a depreciating trend over the past few months, but it has also been highly volatile. The exchange rate remains an upside risk to the inflation outlook as well. The CPI increased by 5.9% in March this year, the same as it increased in February. The year-on-year -year price increases were mainly driven by the categories of housing and utilities and transport, with the higher petrol prices, in, while with the higher petrol prices impacting, impacted by the, the weaker exchange rate. These factors are expected to continue to a contribute to a temporary breach of the inflation target during the year. That is, as you know, we have an inflation band. We're an inflation targeting country, an inflation band of three, three to six percent, and we do expect that it should reach about 6.3 percent um, above the target during this year. Although the depreciation of the exchange rate does create challenges for monetary policy because of the adverse impact on inflation. A floating exchange rate acts as a shock absorber and is an important part of the adjustment process in dealing with a deteriorating current account deficit. Nevertheless, the underlying structural issues remain, which will make it all the more important for South Africa to improve its domestic savings performance, as well as to continue to attract sufficient volumes of foreign capital, preferably in the form of direct investment, an area where German companies have been particularly strong. There is a lot that we can learn from the German experience. Germany's industrial relations are characterized by a high degree of cooperation between employer and employee organizations. In South Africa, at the we need to Institute find models that enable earlier dispute resolution in the workplace before labor disputes affect the broader economy. In order to tackle high levels of unemployment in South Africa, we seek not just foreign investment. We seek long-term partnership, partnerships that will be mutually beneficial South Africa has a huge skills mis mismatch. This mismatch will not be resolved overnight, but firms can take the lessons from Germany and help to build a workforce that is skilled, satisfied and globally competitive. Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward.